Hello, and thank you for watching my lead pages tutorial. So I am starting with a blank Safari page here so I can show you exactly how you can start using lead pages. I already have an account, so I will not be creating a, an account from scratch. So we're just going to go up to the search engine and we're going to type in leadpages.net. This will be the home page for lead pages. What you'll need to do is create your account if you don't already have one. If you do have one, you can go right to login and it's going to automatically sign me in because I already have an account. This will be the home page once you're logged in to your account that you will see. Now, if you notice up on the top here, there are different headers here. You can be in lead pages, you can create a lead box, you can create lead links, lead digits, and templates. What I want you to focus on for your first page design is the very first one that it opens to, and that is lead pages. Now, I like to use the drag and drop, and drop feature. So when you're creating a new page, you're going to want to use drag and drop. I find that that's the easiest, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I just wanna show you what your potential is if you were to sign up and start using lead pages to integrate with active campaign um, and anything else that you might be using for your business. So I'm gonna click right here on my Fat Loss Accelerator group program and show you what my page looks like. This is a drag and drop feature, like I said, so you can easily move things around on the page and create um, different designs depending on what you like. So right here, you see my sales page for my Fat Loss Accelerator group program. Um, this is just an image that I pulled from the internet. I created this image in Canva to add the text that I wanted. Um, over here on the left hand side, you have widgets, so you can if I wanted to add a text box to the top, I could do that right there and I can input text. If I wanted to delete that because it, it was a mistake, I just hit the trash can and I say delete and it goes away. And you can always update the page anytime you want or preview the page as well. So there's all these different widgets, headlines, buttons. You can add a countdown if you are um, doing a webinar and you wanna add a countdown. I actually have a countdown down here. There's one day and 22 hours before my next group program begins. So that is counting down for somebody. And that's just a way to give them a bit of a sense of urgency into your program and let them know that if they want to join that next group, they only have a limited, limited amount of time to sign up. Um, you can add images, spaces. I have a form down at the bottom for questions and comments. And you can link that form up so that you receive them straight to your inbox. Uh, social shares down here, I have a Facebook and a Twitter social share. You can add icons, you know, the sky's the limit really. But here's an example of mine. I have an image that I created on Canva and then I have text describing my program. I then have two buttons here and I have these buttons linked, as you can see right here, to PayPal accounts. So my prospects can click to sign up for my January 22nd start date, or they can click to sign up for my February 5th start date. Very easily linked to a PayPal account or any other service that you use. Um, I have this popping up in a new window so that they don't lose my lead page if they do click on that button. Then this is a header. And then these are icons that are listed in order to show you a little bit more about what my program is all about. This is just another section. Here's another button because I like to duplicate my buttons so that they're being reminded to click and register multiple times. I then added a video testimonial here so that people can hear of other clients that I've worked with. So that's another option for you. More text, another set of buttons. And then I have an ESO here or a freebie, whatever you want to call it, to opt in to download a free meal preparation workbook and a personal macro macronutrient tracker. Now this opt-in is important to um, point out because I have this linked to my active campaign newsletter list. 
when somebody opts in to this free download, they automatically get added to my list and then entered into my welcome series. And I'll show you how this is very easily set up on the back end. Click on this button where the link is here. I have created a lead box that I'm going to view and edit for you here. See how this pop pops up as a lead box that I created. I added my own colors to it. Sorry. Um, and you know, you can create your box again, however you want. And then right here, this button where it says download my free guide pulls open, you get an email lead notification and I integrated it with my active campaign account. So if I drop that down, I have a list here and I have this going directly to my fat loss accelerator list through active campaign. What this means is whoever downloads my free guide, they automatically get entered into my fat loss accelerator list on active campaign very easy integration to do when you're setting this up you just want to make sure that you're clicking done you're clicking save you're clicking next in the order that you have it there so that you make sure that everything gets saved correctly and then i would recommend when all is said and done making sure that you're always hitting that update button at the top to make sure that any changes that you made were effective. I would recommend always viewing page. You can either click view page from the pop-up that is here, or you can click preview to preview your sales page once it's complete. And then I would recommend opting into all of your buttons yourself to make sure that they work. And then even going down here and downloading your free guide yourself as well to confirm that this whole integration that you just completed does work. So I just clicked on it. I entered my information. I am automatically getting my meal preparation guideline and personal macronutrient tracker. And I just looked at my phone. I just got a notification that somebody has opted into my list. So then I know that this works. Okay, so that, let me just exit the preview and go back into the home page of lead pages to show you what the front page looks like again. Then once you create your um, drag and drop sales page, your very first one that you love, you love the design of it, you can always go over here to actions and duplicate the page for every other sales page that you create. So this makes it really easy. Let me just pop into my content strategy training page as well to show you what visually another page could look like for you. So this is a content strategy. Again, I created this image in Canva, canva.com. Again, I have an opt-in for my newsletter list. I have a download your free seven-step content creation guide here. And then I have a content creation training replay. So I did a webinar a few months ago um, on content creation, and now the webinar is available on this landing page for people to watch the replay. But this is a sales page as well because I am selling my one-on-one -on -one program in the text down here. I have a form here so that they can opt in to ask questions about my program on the same landing page and they can watch the replay all on one landing page. So again, it's integrated with my active campaign newsletter account. It's pretty and I can just click the dot 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 over here under publish options. It gives you the link that you can take and share with others. Now, when I'm sharing a sales page, I might not tell somebody, click this link to learn about my program. I might say, click this link for your free seven step content creation guide. That way, they're going to the sales page to download a free seven step content creation guide. But once they get there, they see, wow, there is a 60 minute training video that I'm also receiving for free, plus information about her group program. So I'm kind of uh, use, using this freebie to also give them a little information about what else they could expect from me if, if they ever worked with me.
Okay, I'm gonna return to the main app again and just show you once again what the home page looks like. Um, if you have any other questions about lead pages in general, you can email me at info at jennacarelli.com or you can find me uh, across any social media accounts. I'd be happy to chat with you. I do use um, Facebook Messenger, so you can message me on Facebook as well. I hope that was helpful for you and I look forward to um, working with you in the future.